Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, October 22nd. And I can't, I mean, I can. I'm not scared to. But at this moment, actually, no, fuck it. Sorry for my language. Um, I want to apologize for my generation. Um, I don't believe I'm a millennial. I think they, when they did the cutoff, it was somebody my age not wanting to grow up. Um, but I was born in 1984, and that's, that's, I'm part of a millennial the way they do the cutoff. I'm ashamed of my generation. When we were going to school, our senior year, at least my senior year, is when 9-11 happened. Um, and to me, at that moment in time, and seeing what we, you know, what the country was going through... I had faith in my generation. I thought, okay, well, this happened. And, you know, all the past generations that had stuff happen to it, they rose up and they did the best thing they could in the country was, maybe it wasn't thriving 100%, but it was doing good. What millennials have done to this country, I shake my head every day. And to know that we're in charge now, or getting there, is scary. Now, there's a few millennials that don't think like the rest of the millennials. So, for the ones out there who think like me, and the ones out there that know about the corruption and know about uh, us being owned by foreign banks and other banks and stuff like that, and know about Bilderberg and all that stuff, I commend you. Because we are a rare breed. The most, most of our generation are into their phones. Mind you... I play Pokemon Go. Don't get me wrong. I play it. I do. I play it. But it's not 100% important to me. Like, I don't really care if I do or don't play it. It's fun to get out and be with friends and look around. Like, I'm not even paying attention to my screen. Sometimes when I play with friends, they get mad at me because I'm not in it, in it. Like, I'll play it, but I'm walking around, enjoying, looking around and stuff. But I admit, at first, I was in my phone like this. Until I started, till I came across the show on True TV before it was taken off. Jesse Ventura's Conspiracy Theory. That woke me up. He had a guy on there. He's a little passionate. Some people think he's a little too passionate. Alex Jones. I've went and read stuff like, I don't agree with Alex all the time. And, he, and what I like about him is he said, if you don't believe me, look it up yourself. And I have. And most of the time I find exactly what he's saying. Now... If you're already going to vote for Hillary, I'm not here to sway you. I'm just here to say play the game fair. Um, and for the higher up people who are hiring people to beat the rest of us up, that's immature. And that shows that you're being paid by this woman that shows her immaturity. And the fact that she's that immature and that self-conscious and not that confident, I don't want a president that thinks that she has to freaking pay people to beat us up to win. Like, that's weak. Nobody wants a weak president. And I'm sorry, if she was to be transparent, be like, look, I did some fucked up things in my life. I'm not proud of it. But I want to be president to make it up to you guys. Then yes, I would be like, okay, yay, Hillary. But... I'm Trump. Am I happy about what he said in that bus? No. But like I've seen a lot of things saying, I'm not defending Trump. I'm voting for him. I know what he said about those women wasn't the best thing he, he could have said. But it didn't get it. It was just like five or six years. No, not even that. It was like 11 years ago. And I'm in the parking lot of work. I'm working overtime. And it's just beyond me that after the last debate and Trump out of her all this, how these people are still going to vote for her. It bottles my mind, especially since the woman gave away our freaking military uh, strategy. Like, really? Are you serious? No. I used to be scared. My, my husband tells me to be careful. But you know what? 
If someone's gonna try to let me go because of who I like, oh, believe me, I will lawyer the F up and probably get my position back anyway. So you don't wanna mess with me because you will be broke if you do, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, it's just, I don't get it. I'm not trying to sway you guys, but let's just tell you this. If you get her elected, there will be no, Mer no more United States of America. No more. It'll be gone. No more America. Yeah, the name will still be there, but like Rome. The name's still there, but it's a shadow of what it once was. I'm not saying Rome was perfect. I'm not saying the people in Rome were good pe all good people. But people who vote for Hillary, they're going to topple us. And it's going to be sad. I really do think that if she does win, there will be some type of unrest. And I'm not going to start anything. I'm a peaceful person. But it scares me that to know that if she wins, I could lose my Facebook. And that's sad because I keep in touch with my brother who's um, stationed somewhere. And I don't want to say what branch he's in. I don't even want to say where what his name is. Cause I don't. I, I know these people are corrupt. I know they could go after my family. You know, and this is risky talking about this stuff. But we need to pray for Trump. We need to pray he wins. And I have nothing against Hillary voters. Um, that's what this country is so beautiful. You could believe what you want. You could vote who you for who you want. And I wish that. Even though we're voting for two different people, we need to come together as Americans. Regardless of who you're voting for, we got to come together. So, I got to get 5.55. My work starts at 6, so I got to go. Uh, I'm posting this to YouTube. So, yeah. I mean, I don't want to... I'm, I'm not here to sway you, but if it does sway you, then I'm glad. So, um, prayers for Trump couple weeks left until this election and don't let it consume you much love